I love Sunday nights at Word of Life Island because we see the gospel do its work. The gospel is a very simple message. It's the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. And, and as we present that message, it's, it's so great to see the Holy Spirit bring students to salvation. And we give an invitation and they walk down that aisle and all of heaven rejoices as uh, campers accept Jesus Christ as personal Savior and begin a new life in Christ. Our theme this summer is the Olympics, and our theme verse is, comes from 1 Corinthians 9 where it says, I don't know about you, but I'm running hard for the finish line. And I think one of our meetings during the week that really kind of speaks to that theme is our Wednesday night dedication service. We all gather at the campfire, and a speaker just lays it out, how our students need to give their, their all to the Lord Jesus Christ and run in the race and get rid of the distractions and, and do it for Him. And it's so great to see young people say yes to God that night and, uh, and give their bodies to the Lord Jesus Christ. How are you guys? 
It was a pleasure to be with you here at World Life Island this week. And we learned throughout this week, as we learned from, the God, from God's Word, that uh, finding the sweet spot of Christianity, that spot where we effortless and yet effectively live the life of Christianity takes more than just following some rules. It takes us knowing ourselves. It takes us knowing that there is a distinctive aspect of our lives that needs to be lived out that is self-control, that we need to be driven to live a life that is remarkable, that we, we ought to aim for the price that is a price that God gives us, the glory that God will get from our faith being refined. And I want to encourage you that as you go back home, that you will not give up that you would hold on to God's grace, that you would look to Him to be the one that you trust, the one that sustains you, the one that works within you to give you the power to live this life and to run this race that He's called you, chosen you, selected you to be in. You are the, the example that the world needs to see so they may, need, they may see that Jesus Christ is alive. Your young life is an example to everybody, a testimony. I pray that you would do it, and they would do it with all the might of God. You've been set free, and for freedom you shall live.